So again, I am in the reports workspace right here. And I'm going to go to Data Explorer. I'm going to say new question. Let's say services. Here you have the runnable option. Um, it defaults to me only, but sometimes after I've built a query for you guys, I will make it runnable by everyone. And then I can give you the query name. Um, let me show you here really quickly. This says only show my questions. Um, if I uncheck that, then it'll show every query that was built in Data Explorer. Um, not even mine. You can see most of these are mine. I do a lot of my work in Data Explorer. But we can see others built by other people and we can actually search for them. So let's say I'm looking for that one, client monthly income. So if I just uncheck that here, I can search. So let's see, I know the name. There we go, there it is. So I can search instead of having to scroll all the way through it, but let's go ahead and do this, this new question here. So again, I'm gonna say services and I'll leave it as me only for now. Okay, now the domain that you use will largely determine what, uh, what kind of data you get. Um, we have barriers, again, that's that's client track for disabilities, client assessments. Um, enrollment, most of you, you're going to be looking for information on individuals who are enrolled in your program. So I would start with the enrollment or the HMIS enrollment domain first. Um, but we're gonna do services first. So let's go ahead and go to service. I selected the service domain. And here we have different data elements. Either we can filter by these elements or we can just show that we want them to show up here. So let's see, I want the client ID. I'll drop that right here. I also want the associated program. I want the service. And I want the service date. I'm going to click on which records do you want to include. And I can filter it by a specific program. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. I'm just going to drag this down here. Now, again, because we're in the training site, there's not going to be a lot of this information in here, but we can take a look and see. Let's just go to HMIS training again. And we'll also want to specify a time frame. Other way, otherwise, it will just show every service ever provided by this, this program. So I'm gonna say service date, and I'm actually gonna use two service dates. So I'm gonna say one service date, two service dates. And this first one I'm going to say is greater than or equal to, let's say this date last year. And then the second service date, I'm going to say less than or equal to today. I click this show me button on the top right. This should show any services recorded. And there we go. Nifty, huh? So we can see the program, we can see the client ID, and we can see the type of service listed here. We can also filter by service type if you're just looking for say bed nights or something like that, we can do that as well. Um, but that's all under the which records do you want to include. So what do you want to know is the output fields. So we can see it has four different columns here. And that's what shows up under the show me, the client ID, the program, the service, and the service date. Um, and then this, which records do you want to include is actually the filter. So if I didn't have this HMIS training associated program, it would show services for all programs everywhere. Let's see, let me show you, like, let's say, let's specify service down here. So I'm gonna drop a filter in here. I'm gonna say service equals enter a value. Let's just look at, let's look at bed night. Let's see if that shows up here. So show me. And there was one bed night recorded in the last year for that program, for that client ID. That is pretty cool. So after the show me, then there's this, uh, this button here on the top right. And this will export to Excel. And yeah, that's usually what I do with it because Excel lets me play with formulas and that sort of thing. 
there it is. And then we can see, so I mean, it's not gonna do a lot if it's just this one individual, but let's say I wanted to, want to count the number of bed nights here. Let me show you that really quickly. I think that'd be helpful. So if I go back here and I'm going to not filter by bed nights, I'm just gonna show it all. Then I can download it. And a drawback to Data Explorer is it does not show aggregated data. So you have to build formulas to count that sort of thing in Excel if you're going to use this. But again, I trust Data Explorer more than any other report because I can see the query. I can see what's going into it. Did I download it? Let me try it again. I might hit the X button instead of the download button. There we go. Uh-oh. And you'll get that from time to time. It just, just try it again. There's a few glitches in our new system still. So yeah, I highly encourage you guys just to come in here and play with Data Explorer when we're done and just see what you can figure out. If you um, if you need help with Data Explorer, please feel free to reach out. This is a lot of what I do throughout the day. Um, let me go enable editing. Oh, I just opened it. Let's try it again. So let's just say there were many more services than this and I couldn't count them by hand. The way I would count the individual services, I'm going to paste here, go to data and remove duplicates. Then I'm going to do a count if right here. Move you out of the way. Count if service equals this. It will show, there we go, one flex fund. There were two bus passes. Yeah. So it can be pretty helpful. That's, that's the best way to get aggregated data out of the system, I would say, is just to build a query and then use a function in order to count the information. Um, those other reports are helpful, but I just I like Data Explorer because I can see it.